Hey everybody, welcome. It's Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. As always, a really warm welcome and thanks for watching the video today. What about if I told you that for $397, we'll give you the equivalent of what that is in uh, British Sterling down below, you could buy yourself a premium driver and a premium three wood for under $400. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? The question is, is it any good? Stay tuned and we'll find out. So, I'm hiding the club behind my back. What could this uh, driver and three-wood deal be? Well, I've dealt with this company before and they very kindly sent me products in the past to try, and it's Bontec Golf. Um, I'm a big fan of Bontec Golf. They do things slightly differently. Um, I quite like their marketing campaigns. I quite like the fact that they, um, they've chosen to take on the big boys um, they make some great product. This is the new Bontech uh, 3.0 driver. It's the very latest one. And I'll tell you what I've got sent through to try. Um, the owner of the company is a guy called Sully and he, he contacts me from time to time and says, hey, I've got some new product. Can I send it over to you and um, have a go of it? So um, the reason I'm talking to you about this in dollars, so there will be people who will uh, maybe take offense who are watching in the UK or wherever, say, no, you should be doing this in Sterling as well. I know they ship worldwide, this product, but I'm not sure what the implications are either on shipping and do you have to pay duty? So that's where you would have to contact the company directly. I'm pretty sure there will be shipping charges and probably some import duties. Now, I know when I've had stuff coming from the States, you know, there can be sort of a, almost a 30% sometimes import duty. So you need to speak to the company direct if you're watching this outside the States. So that's why I'm talking about this in dollars. If you're in mainland America, you can go onto their website and buy the driver and three wood, which I have here for $397. At the moment, I don't see on the website that they're selling this driver individually. And I think that the driver may be out of stock at the moment um, in the either the nine or the 10 and a half degree because they've had a pre-sell in and I think it's gone maybe a little bit better than they expected. So they're waiting for more stock to come in. But go to the Bombtech website. Um, we'll put some links down below to get more details. They've got fantastic customer service there and, and they'll certainly give you all the help you need. Anyway, let's talk to you about the driver. So first of all, let's tell you about the head cover. And you might think, what's head cover got to do with it? I always judge a product a little bit on its head cover. You know, if it's got a cheap and nasty old head cover, then it kind of detracts straight away. It's a really solid one. It's got the zip, it's, it's, it's nicely embroidered. It just looks the business really. Let's give you some close-up shots of the new Bombtech Goal 3.0 driver and tell you a little bit about it. I've got this in a nine degree. It's a 450 cc cc head. It's not got that many cc cc's are necessary. I just uh, don't know why that came out as the way it did, but there you go, 450 cc. That's all we need to say. 45 and three quarter inch shaft. It's a premium shaft. I don't know who makes it. Um, don't know, just guessing it might, could be Aldilla or, or I don't really know who makes this, so I shouldn't really guess, but I'm told it's a premium shaft. I'll put all the shaft specs up over here so that you can look at those rather than me waffling on about them. It tells you the torque and all this sort of stuff, which you may or may not be interested in. Um, Head-wise, we've got the difference really, one of the main ones is that we've got these three non-adjustable weights in here. We've got one in the heel, the toe, and in the back. And what this is doing, consult my notes, is the three non-adjustable weights, um, the heel, toe, and rear, increase forgiveness, sounds good off center hits um, perform better and we lower the spin so you know that's the sort of the the three main things we're looking for in any driver isn't it lower spin rate a bit more forgiving and deals with the off center hits um, the, the shaft which I just touched on a minute ago it's more stable it's lighter and it's got a lower torque than the previous shafts um, what else can I tell you about it? Only offered in two models. It comes in a 90 degree stiff, which this one is, and it comes in a 10 and a half degree regular. That's it, okay? Those are the only two specs you can get, which in a way is quite refreshing, isn't it? You know, you don't have to worry about adjustability, 10 and a half reg, nine stiff. Um, they both sit one degree closed as far as I can ascertain as well. What looks to be some sort of Tour Velvet style grip on here, which is logoed up with the Bontech logos, looks good. 
Um, 60 day guarantee policy. This is the interesting bit. You can go and buy some of these clubs and within a 60 day period, if you don't feel that these clubs are performing as well as they should do, send them back, get your money back. So, you know, that's a nice little bit of peace of mind. Enough waffle. Let's get over in the hitting area and give this driver a bit of a whack, shall we? Follow me. Let's go and hit some. Okay, everybody, we're in the hitting area. We've got the Bontech Golf 3.0 driver, nine degree, stiff shaft. Let's give this thing a hit. We're on the first at the Belfry. Um, it plays a little bit downhill. Excuse me one second. We'll just get rid of whatever that is. Plays a little bit downhill. The conditions are set are fairly firm, so the ball's going to run out a little bit. Let's give it a hit. Let's just talk a bit about the looks of the driver. Um, it's very simple and I kind of like this. We'll give you some uh, close-ups. It's got sort of a matte black finish to it and it's just got the word Bombtech written there in the center of the club as an alignment aid. And that's it, you know, face is like um, a brushed aluminium finish look to it uh, with the grooves infilled um, in the green. You've got the uh, Bombtech lime green shaft in here. It looks good, it looks premium. Um, let's go, let's hit a couple. Got um, Mizuno golf balls down on the deck. Let's see what we get. That came a little bit high in the face to start with that one. Just pop that one up a little bit higher than I would have liked, but um, I tell you what, it's not done bad that one. Let's, um, should we dive in and have a look at the numbers as we go? Now, remember before we get people saying, ah, oh, your GC2 doesn't measure club head speed accurately. You're absolutely right, it doesn't. Um, it tends to underdo club speed, if anything else, and it, it kind of uh, works on an algorithm. It does do ball speed pretty well, though. So let's talk about ball speed, shall we? Um, 141, nearly 142. This thing keeps coming up, it's really annoying. Just ignore it down there. It's telling me I'm connected to the internet. Well, thanks for letting me know. Um, 142 ball speed, just giving me a carry distance of 258 from a backspin rate of just under 1900. Now this is coming from a driver. Um, post your comments down below. Those of you watching, you know, let's put this a different way. If you're watching this in the UK and you're gonna buy the latest Callaway, TaylorMade driver, um, you're going to be spending in the region of £450 for that driver. Okay, remember that this driver is coming with a three wood at the moment as well, and that is coming in at just under $400. Okay, um, I guess when they start to get stock back in, they may well, well, they probably will retail this driver just on its own. So I'll be interested to see what it just retails at just the driver. But remember, this is driver in a three wood package for under $400. Not bad, is it? Let's go again from something that really does, so far, perform very well. Oh, I just necked that one a little bit. Just caught it a bit out of the heel, pulled it a fraction. Well, still, it's in the woods. Um, well, look at the numbers. It wasn't my best, best swing on that one. Swung it a little bit left with the club face closing, but we'll go, we'll dive in. Club speed, ball speed's gone up a little bit, as you can see. Uh, ball speed's up to 147, carries 254, and the spin is still under 2000 um, from an 11 degree launch. But that was uh, obviously a missed fairway, that one. But even so, oh, this is a Bridgestone ball that I'm just gonna hit next, just so you know. First two were Mizunos, this is a Bridgestone. Let's see if we can find the fairway. Little bit of a fadey one, that one. We'll take it. Just, face just came in a little bit open. Expect that will take a, a few yards off it. It's a fairway finder. Again, great, 250. Spin rate, as you'd expect there, has come up a little bit. Because I delivered that with a slightly open club face um, and a little bit more launch on it, the back spins jumped to 2.8, but I still managed 250 out of that. So, so far, with this driver, I'm averaging a 253 carry and a 22 spin around that. Let's go again, back to the Mizuno ball. See if we can really nail one for you here. 
warming up a little bit. I'm an old man, remember. I'm a senior golfer these days, so, you know, got to give me time to warm up. Oh. <laughs> Ali, that's what, that's what happens when you try and lean on one, isn't it? Just poof, right over the top. See you later. That one's gone. I'm leaving that one in. There's no edits here. Oh, that's shocking. I can only hope that that one's gone on the next, next fairway. It's like something out of a Star Wars movie, that spread there, doesn't it? Let's go again. Getting a bit excited. Oh, not bad. Just getting, just, just fighting the lefts a little bit today. This shaft for me, although it's a stiff, it does just feel a little bit tip I mean, Here you go, you think, make an excuse that blame the shaft, why don't you? It just, just feels a fraction soft in the tip for me. And um, just feels like that head's shutting down a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna start one out to the right a little bit more. That's better. That's better. I tell you what, that's a, that is a big old carry for me, that one. That's, that's as long as, as anything that I've hit of recently. Again, ball speed's gone up a little bit as I'm warming up. I'm fighting a little bit of a pull today. So uh, 150 ball speed, carry distance has gone to 259, um, backspin at 2332 from a 10.7 launch. So, there was a few dodgy swings in there. Hey, it's life, isn't it? Although I'm a, I'm, I'm a golf professional, I'm not a professional golfer. I'm a, I'm a coach more than a, a golfer these days. So, you know, when I go out and play, I'm gonna hit a few shots like that. So, no point me just putting the perfect shots in all the time. What do we think of the Bomb Tech driver? I think it's very, very impressive. It, it does impress me, to so say. Shaft potentially is a little bit kicky for me. Not a problem, um, and I was leaning on some of those, you know, I was getting club speed up maybe up towards 103, 105, so that's where I'd push maybe into something a little bit more tip stiff, just to give it a little less torque maybe, just to control the head, but it's a really good driver. For those of you people living in the States who can get access to this product, it's definitely worth a look. It's very good. If you're thinking about buying in from America, shipping in, check what your costs are going to be first of all. That's it. That's the Bomb Tech Golf Driver. We'll do another little review on the three wood soon, but hope you've enjoyed that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on that button down below. The more people subscribe, the more influence I get uh, with golf companies, and you never know. Companies like Callaway and TaylorMade may sometimes send me some product to review, but I'm not going to hold my breath. There we go. That's it. I'm out of here. Um, bye for now. I'll see you soon.